Good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 7th of 2024, and this is the 128th weigh-in. Baby, going for his nice walk. Good morning. Starting with the face pull. Do, do, do. Got face pull. Bayesian curl, and then the lat prayer. Uh. Mm. Okay. Let's get it started. Okay, nine it is. So I should figure out a time to do some isometric colds. Okay, I don't know what that did, how much that helped, but we'll play around. Ugh. Okay. Let's get some curls in there. Oh. Oh my God, no, I don't want to. Oh, oh, I forgot how much that hurts. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. Mmm, that hurts. 
hurts a lot. Okay, whew. That is brilliant pain. Okay. Maybe I'll just do a warm up or two. Oh, I have the lighter weight. Then we'll give it a minute. So, it's probably not good for me to read these. I, but when I go on Reddit, I get pushed to these like ADHD uh, subreddits. It's probably because I've like clicked on the threads before. So then obviously the algorithm's like, oh, he must want to read about it, so let's just keep pumping him full of those threads. That's what's so freaking stupid about these algorithms and potentially harmful. But these ADHD threads, again, I don't even know if, to what extent ADHD is quote unquote real and how many people actually have it and how many people just use it as a a catch-all term for those of us who are addicted to technology, who have unprocessed trauma or emotional problems or, you know, emotional pain, whatever, bad coping mechanisms, uh, <clears throat> because it just, it just feels like most of those who say they have ADHD, they're just functionally retarded. Um, some people, when I read th that they claim they like cleaned the house or did deep cleaning or did a project for 36 hours and didn't eat a grape and didn't remember to go to sleep, like, first off, I don't believe them. But if, if any of those stories are true, it's like, okay, those people have ADHD. Like, <clears throat> what usually comes with some great weakness is uh, compensating great strength, right? So if you are somehow able, unable to function in certain circumstances and you're able to greatly function in others, it's like, okay, there's probably a problem there. <clears throat> or there's something real to that. There's some, some kind of, it's not even a disease, it's just a different ability, right? Uh, the autist who isn't able to connect with people socially or emotionally, they are able to remember information, they are able to analyze problems, they're able to do so many things that people who otherwise uh, do not have those dysfunctions, uh, the way they, they function in a way that they cannot. So <clears throat> yeah, I mean, almost every post on ADHD is like, and the subreddit uh, says something to the effect of, I can't hold down a job. My life is miserable. I hate life. I've never been able to hold down a job. I can't maintain relationships. I'm exhausted. Everything feels difficult. Everybody else is doing so well and I'm struggling so much. So, <clears throat> yeah, I just, I, I really, I mean, I, I guess what I come back to is you know, either there were a lot of people like that 50 years ago, 60 years ago, 100 years ago, and we just didn't know it, or there weren't. And there's some modern facet of living that, or some facet of modern living that is causing this problem, right? Uh, it's kind of like obesity. Like, w was it just unreported uh, that 
a ton of people were obese back in the day? No, <laughs> they just weren't, right? Some aspect of modern living has caused the obesity crisis. So similarly, if there's this like ADHD retardation crisis, what is causing it, right? And what my mind always goes back to is, I think we are just far too distracted, far too entertained, far too addicted to easy dopamine hits. And before anybody wants to claim they have ADHD or they have some brain chemistry problem, I, I would implore them and I would challenge them to go, go a month without TV, your phone, the internet, and just live your life. <laughs> live as a human did for 99.9% .9 of humanity's exist existence. Like, let's, let's see you just live as a human is meant to live, not as a human lives in the 21st century. Because if you're not able to function as, as a human in the 21st century, maybe the human isn't the problem. Maybe the 21st century is the problem. So, and easier said than done when you are hopelessly addicted to those things. But maybe the fact that it's not easy for you to get rid of those those distractions maybe that's the very evidence that they are distractions um so and yeah i mean obviously people will couch it as a dopamine detox and all this all this bullshit meant to market you something or sell you on something but just yeah if 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 your situation right the the basis of like all of psychology is every every human behavior is an interaction between the person and the situation. You, there could be an employee who is a garbage employee, always shows up late, always uh, disengaged, doesn't work hard, right? And you take them out of that work environment, you put them in another one, and they could be a model employee. And it's simply that there's some aspect of the former employer that is discouraging them, that is triggering them, that they're not motivated by, and then you put them in the second one and they are a model employee because the, the situation is right for them to thrive. Uh, in my psychology classes, what the example they'd use is what the seed of a cactus. It, if you put it in the desert, it will flourish. If you put it in a very, um, uh, very lush, luscious environment, <laughs> fertile ground, uh, it will not do well. And similarly, if you put that evergreen tree seed in the desert, it will not thrive. So <clears throat> understanding that if, if some aspect of your behavior isn't working, it's like, yeah, it, it might be that there's something wrong with you as, as a person, but it might also be that your situation just is untenable. So um, yeah, a little food for thought in the morning, I guess. Okay, let's... Let's get some lat prayers. Oh, it's crazy how from rep to rep I could feel like either the tension is coming from here and I'm feels like it's almost like my shoulders are pushing down and then the next rep I'll really focus on the lats and the lats are moving it down. Oh, it's very easy for the muscle you're not targeting to take over if you're not careful. Oh. Ooh, ooh, daddy's got a kink in the, sh in the trap, in the traps, oh, in the trapezius muscle, oh, oh, that's fun for the whole family, then, oh, ow, yeah, oh, that's nice, oh, thank you, oh, this is what we call suboptimal, 
Could have done without that. Oh, yeah. So that discussion just triggered a bit of a fear I have. So <clears throat> uh, let's see, how do I articulate this? Um, so part of me has been afraid about ramping up the weight loss, you know, really staying disciplined and staying controlled because really what the last couple months have been about is trying to heal, trying to address whatever the, whatever the conditions are that cause me to overeat, right? Now, you could say that over the last two months, despite the scale being up like 10 pounds from whatever I was at my lightest, um, you could say I've been fairly stable uh, that the scale actually hasn't moved up that much and I've probably been eating like a 340 pound man. So in that regard, I haven't seen this like rapid weight gain or regain like I've had in the past. So you could, you could at least say it's progress, right? Um, but the days that I did whatever, 5,000 calories, 6,000 calories, they, they're still, they're still concerning. And I can explain them away as saying, oh, well, they were just days that it was because I knew I was about to diet harder and um, it's just a pattern that I have is like, if I'm starting on Monday, then I overeat on the Sunday. If, I, if I'm gonna start on the first of the month, I overeat in the, the week leading up, the last week of the preceding month, whatever. Um, but, you know, the fact remains. So part of what I'm thinking about is, so is it is it that the person Steve needs to change or is it the situation uh, Steve's in needs to change or is it both, right? And part of me wonders, you know, some people are able to just drop the weight and then they're fine. Uh, and it's almost as if in the process of changing their their person, they change their situation, and they change their person, right? So it's like some people, I would imagine, if you just transported them right now to whatever, either their, their goal weight, their goal health, their goal job, their goal life, like if they're not happy now and you transport them into that, it is possible that just the change of that situation can make the person happy and can change their behavior. You know, they would no longer need the addiction. Uh, like the classic rat study where these rats were addicted to cocaine in an isolated environment and then when they put them in a family of rats, like a big community of rats, they no longer wanted the cocaine. So I guess, I guess that's just something that I could use to have more peace about is that um, maybe even, even if person Steve hasn't changed maybe he still has some issues that's holding him back but changing that situation of being at a healthy body weight again that that would be enough uh, to help you know change the Steve and to change the behavior but um yeah I don't know food for thought 
uh, it's fairly low calorie. Uh, more to think about. So, okay. We'll see you in a bit. My baby, you say hi, Stevie. Who's oh, a good boy? Oh, that's a nice boy. Oh, he's so cute. He's cooling down a little bit on his walkies. He's already about 80 minutes in. Taking a nice little break, like a good boy. Hello there, my shoulder, or trap, whatever that was earlier, kind of scared me off a little bit, so I've been walking a lot, but I didn't go to Muay Thai, and I haven't lifted again, even though it's 10, 11, so I figure I'll try and do a couple movements, try and do a little something more, but not expect too much. It wasn't a big deal. I mean, I'm probably just milking it. And today hasn't been the best day in terms of control. Lost it a little bit during the middle of the day. Still figuring it out. Please stay, please stay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I should get something with a bigger little like, hook so I don't have to worry about it as much. Okay. Nine it is. Oh, okay. It didn't feel too bad. And we'll do the low row. Let's just move that up to 120. Make things easier. I don't think I could really feel the difference in that much weight anyways. No. Slick back. That's what I said. Slick back. No, no. I'm a pimp. Slick back. Pimp. Slick. Is you deaf? I'm a pimp. Name. Slick back. Pimp. Slick back. That's what I said. Slick back. That's what I said. No, no, no. Pimp. Name. Slick.
Ah, it's nice. <coughs> oh. Five minutes. Okay. I think we're good. she wrote for me okay another day another ounce i'll see you tomorrow